Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn about the top 50 data analytics concepts in just 10 minutes. That said, if this is the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics skills and land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or move on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find the data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started. First, we will get started with data collection. Kind of self-explanatory, it's a process of gathering information from various sources to build a data set for analysis. Often, it involves a collection of raw data points. Now the next one is data cleaning. Data cleaning deals with literally the data cleansing process. It is all about identifying and correcting errors or inconsistencies in data sets to ensure accurate and reliable analysis. Next after that is data science. Data science is an umbrella under which the data analysis comes in. It is a broad field that encompasses the study of data to extract insights, patterns and knowledge, often utilizing statistical and computational methods. On the fourth position is data transformation. It is the process of converting raw data into a more suitable format for analysis, making it easier to work with and derive meaningful conclusions. On the fifth position, we have data modeling. Data modeling is all about creating a visual representation or blueprint of data structures and relationships to understand and analyze complex data sets effectively. Sixth one is data integration. It is the process of combining data from different sources to provide a unified view facilitating comprehensive analysis and decision making. On the seventh position, we have data visualization. Presenting data in graphical or visual formats such as charts and graphs to aid in understanding patterns and trends in tutorial. Eighth one is inferential statistics. Utilizing a smaller sample of data to make inferences or predictions about a larger population and providing valuable insights. Ninth one is probability. Measuring the likelihood of an event occurring, a fundamental concept in statistics used to quantify uncertainty in data analysis. For example, the people who like to buy a certain item. Now the hypothesis is on the fifth position, a tentative explanation or prediction that is tested through experimentation or analysis to validate its accuracy. Let's say you run a YouTube channel and you have two thumbnails and you want to know which one of those is most important or most working one which has the highest number of CPI. That's when you run AP testing or hypothesis testing and you can understand which type of thumbnail is most liked by your users. Followed by that we have correlation, examining the statistical relationship between two variables to understand how changes in one may affect the other. Now, in the 12th position we have regression analysis, assessing the strength and nature of the relationship between dependent and independent values in a data set. 13th is outliner, a data point that significantly deviates from the rest of the data set, potentially indicating errors or unique occurrences. On the 14th place, we have time series analysis, examining data collected over time to identify patterns, trends and make predictions about future values is about time series analysis. 15th one is AI and machine learning, leveraging algorithms and computational models to enable machines to learn from data and make predictions about the explicit programming. Next one is predictive modeling, creating models that forecast future outcomes based on historical data, aiding in decision making and planning. On the 17th place, we have clustering, grouping similar items or data points together based on shared characteristics, helping identify patterns with data sets. Next one is classification, categorizing new data based on patterns learned from past data, allowing for sorting and labeling of information. 
19th one is data mining which is about extracting valuable patterns information or knowledge from large data sets often used to discover hidden relationships and now we have text mining analyzing and extracting meaningful information from large volumes of unstructured text data similar to summarizing a book's key points now on the 21st position we have data warehousing so data warehousing is about storing and managing large amounts of data in a centralized repository enhancing efficiency and facilitating complex data storage big data is on 22nd refers to massive data sets that are beyond the capacity of traditional data processing tools and requires specialized tools for analysis and then we have structured data which is about where the information is organized in a specific format under named rows and columns like an excel spreadsheet and next is unstructured data so it needs a predefined structure such as text or multimedia files requiring advanced techniques for storage and analysis and then comes semi structured data which is a combination of both structured and unstructured data sets on the 26th position we have data governance which is about the framework and practices for managing and ensuring high data quality security and compliance within an organization and next is 27th which is about data privacy safeguarding personal information in data sets ensuring secure handling and compliance with privacy laws 28th is data security measures taken to protect data from unauthorized access ensuring confidentiality integrity and availability is all about data security and on the 29th position we have etl which stands for extract transform and load the process of extracting data from various sources transforming it into a consistent format and loading it to our destination for analysis is etl and on the 30th position we have data marts which is about the subset of a data warehouse designed for specific business units or departments providing tailored data sets focused analysis and on 31st position we have data lakes large storage systems that hold raw unprocessed data in its original format facilitating diverse and complex analysis 32nd is about data pipeline a set of processes for moving and transforming data from source to destination ensuring efficient data flow is all about data pipeline on the 33rd position we have data schema which happens to be a blueprint illustrating how data is organized and structured akin to floor plan for database design and on 34th position we have normalization organizing a database to reduce redundancy and dependency enhancing efficiency and minimizing data anomalies is all about normalization and normalization is a concept of sql so next is sql a programming language for managing and querying relational databases providing a standardized way to interact with data and now the no sql is on the 36th place a type of database management system that handles various data types and structures not limited to traditional tabular relations next is primary key a unique identifier each record in a database table ensuring data integrity and supporting relational database design and on the 38th position is foreign key a field that links to the primary key in another table establishing relationships between different tables in a relational database and 39th is indexing which is creating an index to speed up data retrieval in a database improving query performance by providing quick access to specific data on the 40th position we have a business intelligence using data analysis tools and processes to convert raw data into actionable insights for informed decision making 41 is dashboard a visual display presenting key performance indicators and other relevant data in a centralized location offering for a quick overview for decision makers and on the 42nd position we have charts and graphs visual representations of data such as bar graphs or line graphs used to convey information and trends in a easily understandable format 43rd is about kpi quantifiable metrics reflecting the performance of an organization or specific activities crucial for addressing or assessing progress towards goals now on the 44th position we have a kra which is about specific areas with an organization where positive outcomes directly contribute to the achievement of its goals and objectives and 45th is about real time analysis which is about analyzing 
data as it is generated providing immediate results and insights and enabling quick decision making based on the most current information. And now we have 46th as data wrangling, which is a process of cleaning, transforming and organizing raw data into a format suitable for analysis of news in tools like Pandas and NumPy. Proceeding ahead, we have Matplotlib. It is a Python library used for creating static, animated and interactive visualizations essential for data representation and analysis. Proceeding ahead, we have NumPy. So NumPy or NumPy a powerful Python library for numerical computations offering support for large multi-dimensional arrays and matrices. And on the 49th position we have Pandas, a Python library for data manipulation and analysis particularly used for cleaning, transforming and exploring tabular data. And lastly we have Excel. Last but not the least, a widely used spreadsheet program with powerful data analysis capabilities offering tools for calculations, data visualization and reporting. These concepts contribute to the effective analysis, visualization and interpretation of data providing valuable insights for decision makers in various domains. And with that we have reached to the end of this session on the top 50 data analytics concepts in 10 minutes. Should you need any assistance with PPT and other resources used in this session, Please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.